Hello, my name is Lee Ashhoff. I am a certified compassionate inquiry practitioner and certified compassionate inquiry private mentor. You can learn more about the trauma integrating somatic healing sessions that I offer through the link below this video. So today I'm going to share two exercises that I learned from one of my teachers, Les Aria, through my polyvagal certificate training. The first one is very simple. And the sec one, second one is simple, but a little bit um, more, a few more steps than the first one. Both of these exercises support a person to come into the present moment. So these are um, exercises and practices that you can weave into your everyday life. And I welcome you to let me know how you enjoy them in the comments. Um, this video and this guide is not meant to take the place of one-on-one -on -one sessions or group healing. And I recommend that you check with your uh, wellness team if you're unsure if this is right for you. So the first one is coming into connection with your breath. And I like to place my hand on my chest for this one. So when you inhale, you can mm, think in your mind or say out loud right here and on your exhale right now. So right here, breathing in right now, breathing out. So right here, breathing in, right here, breathing out. And I invite you to notice what your experience is like when you practice this. And sometimes I like to simplify it. So breathing in here, breathing out now. Breathing in here, breathing out now. And it's an opportunity to notice how much you can allow yourself to be present here and now. It's an opportunity to notice what might come up for you that wants to pull you out of the here and now, whether it's to the past or to the future. And one that I really practice and love and also offer to those I share the, the healing approaches in the sessions with is breathing in with heart, breathing out with body. Inhale, heart, exhale, body. And I particularly enjoy this one because it brings me to an anchored connection with my heart body, which anchors me more in a grounded way and a downward flow towards my presence, towards my connection with Mother Earth. And taking a break from the mental um, thoughts and the thinking and the planning and the questioning. So breathing in with heart, breathing out with body. Inhale heart, exhale body. So this can be practiced at any time. Um, if it's difficult for you to connect, uh, you're welcome to soften your gaze or close your eyes. I encourage and recommend at least some of the time practicing this with eyes open because it can then invite a both and of coming into connection with presence in an embodied way while also being with the environment. Um, and that way you can begin to practice um, anywhere that you are at any time. So I'm going to move into the second exercise and I'm going to share my screen. 
This is, uh, I learned this from Les Aria. This is a polyvagal exercise. Notice, name, and nurture. It's a three-step. It's a three-step with sub-steps. So notice is the first one. So where in your body do you notice a sensation related to a thought, emotion, or tension? And when you notice... When you notice that sensation in your body, you can gently and compassionately inquire, what are the details of the sensation? And this can be some of what is mentioned here, color, shape, texture, temperature, image, word, memory, et cetera, or something else. So I can sense I have a little bit of tension in my chest and it's a bit like uh, like static, kind of edgy, but almost like rain, a lot of rain dropping into a puddle. So it's like uh, active, it's kinetic, but it's like low level. So I notice that here. And the second step is to name it. So you can say internally or, ex or out loud with your voice, this is what tension this is what anxiety feels like in my body. That's what I might say. This is what fear or anxiety feels like in my body. So it goes from, this is what tension feels like in my body here in my chest. And then when I get curious of what the core emotion is, I think hmm, it's stress. And this is anxiety. And the core of anxiety as an emotion for me is definitely fear. So this is what fear feels like in my body. I have this uh, low level sensation of fear in my chest, naming it. And then nurture is the third step. Can offer breath and attention to the tension in your body. And you can use pendulation if this is too intense for you to do fully, which means you go a little at a time and then you come out of it. And it can be helpful to, to have and identify a familiar place in your body where you experience safety. Um, it can be also um, leaning into a sensory experience that is um, calming for you. So you could use um, a smell or a texture to pendulate. So breathing with and bringing your attention to this tension. Just being with it, not having to do anything, just taking a few moments to be with it. Notice it, allow it to be with you. And then you can speak to yourself in a soothing tone while gently patting, rubbing or breathing with the sensation in your body. So I really like the padding. And there's some examples on this. Um, here are some of the examples. You can go into a dialogue with the sensation. What do you want me to know? What are you protecting me from? You can be curious if any information comes through. You can say, you have been working so hard. I am now here for you. Would you be willing to let me guide you? Would it be possible to dial down the sensation? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You no longer need to protect me. We are safe. It's okay, all is well. So these last three phrases, if you're wanting to simplify this third part, the subsection of the third part of nurturing, you can say, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. All is well, all is well, all is well. We are safe, we are safe, we are safe. You can do one, two, or all three, Stating it three times while patting, rubbing, breathing with, 
the sensation in your body. And so if you are joining along, I invite you to pause here and just notice, notice your experience now after, after, after having gone through the noticing, naming, and nurturing. And so for me, I notice a, a less, less of a tension here in my chest after moving through this. And I experience a bit more calm, a bit more peace in my system, a bit more presence. So thank you for, for watching. Um, this is intended to support um, people that I share compassionate inquiry with, compassionate inquiry mentoring with, Akashic Records sessions with. And this is also intended to support you if you're curious about learning ways to connect with yourself and to nurture yourself and to take care of your nervous system throughout every day. My name is Lee Ashhoff. I'm honored to share this with you today. And if you appreciated this video, I encourage you to like, subscribe, Share with those you know in your life who will benefit. May all beings experience heart, peace, love, embodied belonging, and liberation. Aloha.